Hello everybody and welcome to The Backroads. I'm pleased to say the search for a daily is finally over. I've been looking for about four months. Anyone who's been following us outside of just the YouTube channel will understand the absolute pain I've been having because I'm stupid. Um, but without further ado, I'd like to introduce you all to my new daily. Introducing my fourth generation Subaru Legacy Estate. It's a 2.5 SE and it's got heated seats and 55,000 miles. Right, so we shall walk you around the car. As I said, this is a 2.5 ISE Legacy. It's a fourth generation, which I think is BP, if anyone wants to be nerdy about it. Under the bonnet, we have a 2.5 litre EJ25 engine. It is naturally aspirated boxer because I can't afford the fuel for a turbo or the six cylinder ones that you do because it's a daily. I'm not going mad with it and I need this to go to work. And I do probably 400 miles a week. So yeah, I don't want to spend loads and loads of money because it already costs like 90 pounds to fill this up because it's a 65 litre fuel tank and I'm cheap, but it's very low miles. It's a beautiful green. I don't know the color of it, sadly. Um, it came to me um, via the UK Legacy Facebook groups. Um, I was posting there about them asking anyone if anyone had anything for sale. A previous owner of this reached out to me and we did a deal. It's 55,000 miles on it. In incredible service history. It's got Pilot Sport 4 tires on it, which is insane. Um, and yeah, it's, it's a great practical estate. Um, there was a really long, really long list um, of cars I was trying to buy for the daily search. There were Saabs, there were BMWs, there were there Nissan Cube, there were to Toyota K cars, there were Daihatsus. This cropped up a couple of times. What's some other weird ones? Toyota Avensis, is it, ugh, I can't say it, Avensis, which would have been very depressing. Sorry if anyone owns one, it's just, they're great cars, just they're too good and it's boring. Um, Audis, but I didn't want to have them blow up on me and then spend the money on them because I was too cheap to buy one that's decent. Um, and I wanted to say Japanese because I've owned Japanese cars for probably two, three years now. No, that's a lie, a complete lie. I've had Japanese cars only for the last year or so. And I've been enjoying them very much. We had the RAV4, we had the MR2. The MR2 is the only car I've ever owned for more than a year because I tend to swap them out quite quickly. Um, hopefully this stays for a while because so far I'm in love. We will show you the fancy bits that it has because I will bring you around this way to the front. We have an unknown splitter kit as well as a, va a vanity um, Japanese import plate, well, square plate for any import, US, Japanese, whatever, because this is a UK registered car. It's registered 2006, it's 55 plates, it's in that transition period. Um, but it's got this lovely splitter on it, which everyone loves. Um, and the car's sitting low, because it is on BC Racing coilovers, which handled great. I did not think, you know, we came here in the 944. I thought I did pretty good in my fat estate, keeping up with the 944 around the country lanes. Um, we even caught up with M4. CS, which decided that they um, were weak today and, and didn't want to fight either of us. It's a great, great long boy. It's about 4.7 meters, so I'm learning how to park it because it's the longest car I've ever driven. <laughs> it just about fits in your standard UK space. Um, it's got lovely, I believe, factory tints at the back and being a Subaru, it has proper all wheel drive with a high and low as well, which uh, the high and low, low selector you only get with the manuals. And this is a five speed manual. It's awesome, I love it. Okay, so what we'll do, we'll show you around some of the interior bits in the car. Um, I'll show you the boot space if anyone's interested because this is a slight first impression review. Boot very heavy, but hopefully it's a camera car. Um, yeah, it's got an entirely sp full spare wheel, which I don't know where to put. We've just got filming gear and cleaning stuff in here for now because yeah, it's a camera car now because we were gonna use the A4 Avant, which we've had on the channel before, but it's not quite ours, so we can use this whenever we want. And also, if anyone saw the service video, you'll see there's a bit of metal in the oil of that car. So go check that out because that might blow up anytime soon. We'll find out. <laughs> Liam will hate, will hate me for saying that. <laughs> I'm already jealous of the fact that you have a working estate compared to me. So I have now joined the estate crew. I went, I went straight to, I went from hatchback to sports car to SUV. And now I've gone to estate. So. He's coming full circle. I'm going all the way around the world. But Next. You are now a true Subaru owner. What do you mean? Well, you, you know, you, you're a JDM boy. So, no. you know, Su Subaru, so you, surely, I mean, look, look, come on, look at the shoes, the shoes say What do you mean? These are, these are Arizona iced tea. These are, these are American, they're not JDM. 
I would like some JDM they've shoes. Got, they've got cherry blossom on them. Bah. Nah, fake news. Fake news. Fake news. Yeah. No, okay, it's not. It's actually just, just something Just ignore different. the hoodie. Um, welcome to the interior of Shinji. The legacy will reveal his name now. It's beautiful. High spec. It's the SE. What SE means, I don't know. Part of me thinks sport executive, but no idea. We have a high-low selector. We've got cut cubby holes. We have heated seats, which are there. Love them. Basically, this gets warm, so I've been calling it a sausage roll warmer. Japanese design because it's you can probably get a Greg sausage roll in there pretty well. Other brands are available. You can go to Grouts if you are a loser. Yeah, only problem is the one thing I wanted for a daily, I wanted it to be decent on fuel, which is mm, acceptable. Um, and cruise control. It has it here on a paddle, doesn't work. So I need to figure how figure out how to do that. But final party trick, which I was told by a previous legacy owner, 500 pounds instant value. We have a pretty mega sunroof. It's massive. I love it. I've not opened it really because it's been too bloody cold because it's December and I bought this car and I'm not going to drive around the sunroof open. But I have the options. We could hang out. We could hang out the top. Hi. Hello. We could hang out the top of this probably and film. Yeah. I'm not we can sure. try. We could we could launch the drone from inside. <gasps> oh my god, we could. We should try that. <laughs> oh, that would be a great shot if we have it sat here and fly up. It's okay. You see, you've got you've got your sunroof. Right? You've got your. Greg's sausage roll. I do. Warmer. I do. So, are you pleased with your purchase? Very pleased. Very pleased. Are you excited to be doing things to this car? There may be some things that happen to it. It's the daily, so you shouldn't really modify the daily. But it's already modified, so I'm really just continuing the legacy. Pardon the pun. Um, <laughs> 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 But so I want to get bronze wheels for it at some point, but I basically went to the absolute top end of my budget to buy this car. It was um, two and a half thousand pounds from the previous owner and the guy before him, it was 2,700, I think. So just kind of standard appreciation between owners at least, I suppose. Um, yeah, I, I, so I spent the top end of my budget to buy this car, but I will be modifying it. So I want to put bronze wheels on it. What kind of ones I get so far, I'm not sure. Potentially some, um, some works wheels. I quite want to get something from order some from Japan there's a lot of really good deals to be made out there if you can put up with like a three month wait for surface shipping so we'll do that it might get an exhaust because even when you get this car up to red line it's quiet you know from outside it's quiet but the amount of sound editing and stuff it doesn't have much of a tone it sounds nice but there's no volume which to be honest is probably what exactly what I want in a daily but I also think it's a Subaru and it should be a bit sportier on, say it say it bit what on, so it's a Subaru, so it should be a bit what? What should it be, Jared? What should it be? <laughs> a bit baller. I oh. don't know. A bit, a bit yobbish, loud. Shouldn't it, sh it? it should be a bit yobbish. Potentially, yeah. So I'm. This is true. I might. I might make the first yobbish legacy. Actually, that's a lie. It's definitely not. The spec of it really doesn't suit yobbish because no, it looks quite really understated nice, and classy. Yeah. But yeah, that might happen. That might happen. I'm not sure. I might try to slam it even further just for fun to see what it can do. And then maybe raise the suspension all the way up and see if I can make a, an Outback without buying one. So, because the Outback is basically this with different front bumper and suspension, I think, really. And, and, much, rear, yeah. and rear brakes, I think, are different. Or front. One of the discs is different because I was trying to buy new ones for this. Um, yeah, there's a couple bits to do to this car. It sold to me with basically um, needs a service soon, which is fine because you would have seen when we buy cars on channel, we tend to service them straight away anyway. Um, and then there's a bit of a squeak from the alternator belt, which we'll sort. Other than that, it's, it's pretty much perfect. And the, and the cruise control, which hurts me so deeply. I want it. I don't care what people say because everyone says, what the hell is put a cruise control? Just use your foot. I don't care, you know. I've got my MR2 for that. I want to chill on the way back from work and on the way to, to work. And this is you, Les, which is why I've got it, so I can drive this around London. Oh, hello, are you coming in? I'm, co I'm coming in, yeah. Hello. Is it uncomfortable? It's, yeah, I'm, I'm now fully in your space. Thumbnail shot. <laughs> it's not the thumbnail. <laughs> Welcome to my crib, Liam. It's awesome, isn't it? It's very nice. I, I really love like it. The, uh, I really like the sausage roll warmer. No, don't need to look in there. Why? Because there was my sausage rolls in there. You don't, I don't touch them. Okay. There's nothing else in there. But Listen. why not? Because nah. Hands off. Look, it's not your car, mate. Don't touch it. Yeah, but okay. I mean, it's it's sausage roll warm. You nah, know. No, 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 no. So one thing I want to do whilst owning this car is this is this is like a work guy. So my daily car. It's my impression with my colleagues. Is I want to get rid of the standard impression that you get of the of the Subaru owners because it's just. 
We all know the type. They're annoying, they're loud, they dress like shit. Pardon the accusations, largely it's true. You know, they've got the rising sun stickers, everything. They're just, every time they turn up to a car meet, you go, oh, here they come. So we're gonna try and change that here. We wanna try to be different. We wanna make an excellent vehicle, which is very cool and can be a great camera car for us. That's what we want to use it for. Hopefully we can get some more tracking shots going on. Yeah, I mean, you can always spot them a mile off, can't you? You can, you can spot them a mile off, you can hear them a mile off. They're just, they, they are it. Evo owners, I think are much nicer, but I'll be shot for that. But the legacy is understated and we keep it that way because we don't want to annoy anyone, <laughs> especially when we go to car meets because nobody likes it. We've got a few people that might want to see this. So I've already had buyers. I've already had people in, already people, people messaging. I've owned this for five days. I've got people who want to buy this off me. I'm not selling it because I want it. Yeah, it's sticking around for at least a year. That's my standard procedure. Then what happens from there, we'll find out. <laughs> cool, so what I'll do first is show you guys the power. This is where the amazing amount of power comes from in the Subaru, the EJ25 engine. What else that engine's in, I don't know. I think they're in some impressors. No, they're not. I said 2.5. I have no idea, really. I don't know anything about Subarus. Um, so, cool thing about Subarus with these bonnet props is, if you'll come around here, please, sir, we have the standard bonnet prop, but also, I believe, you can go a bit more extreme for when you're, uh, when you're really working on your car. Boom, you could get an engine out like this. And we know Subaru owners love their engine swaps. So, because especially when they blow up and they've got to take the head gasket out, which we might have to do at some point. Don't know yet. One thing, one thing I'm not looking forward to this engine is, is doing spark plugs on it because um, battery's got to come out here. We've got to take the air box out on that side, which should make it easier. But I mean, we, we, we've pretty much always just owned four liters and inline fours, not four liters, four liters. God, can you imagine your three liter I4 is already stupid enough. Um, we've only ever really owned four cylinders that are in line, so we just pop them out at the top nice and easy, unless it's the BMW 46, which is a bit awkward. If anyone remembers that video, that was just mostly awkward because we're stupid. So this can be a challenge, but it does provide some excellent opportunities for fun and memes, because you guys are going to enjoy watching us suffer when we do those. And just here is the belt, which I said squeaking. Um, I think it's this one really. So it's easy to access, it's all at the front. It's probably just the pulleys are a bit loose. It's only at low RPM when it does it. So we'll try and fix that soon, but it's, it's really at the bottom of the list. Really, I want to sort brakes out on it because they're a bit a bit vague. They're not, not too bad, but I want to do a fluid change and maybe discs, maybe pads, just do the whole lot whilst in there because it won't cost too much money. Because uh, luckily parts are really available on these, you know, everywhere has got them. There's this uh, website, Import Car Parts, for any Japanese car owners who know them. I've found them to be great so far. Um, got a few bits coming from them and I've heard really good reviews about just everything they do especially for Subarus if anyone's interested so yeah that, that this is the 2.5 so far I don't know of any issues with it it's running really well um, gets up to temp quickly like that stays there runs perfectly so it's a testament to the 55,000 miles it's only got on it and the great service history because it's had some really cool owners before previous owner was is a, one of the the kind of senior marketing people at Bentley Motors which is really weird guy who works at Bentley he buys a Subaru I love it so I'm gonna try to get in contact with him and, and say, hi, this is, this, this is what we're doing. We've got it here. And maybe we get a Bentley press car. I highly doubt it, because I definitely won't be able to get insured on one. Aliyah will have to drive it and that will annoy me because <laughs> I've got it via my car. But yeah, that's that's the great power plant. You know, it's it pulls really nicely. It's very talky is the thing. I was expecting it to be quite shouty and quite racy of an engine, quite revvy, but it's really lazy, but it's got a load of torque. It's got, I think about 220 Newton meters of torque if anyone likes the stats and I think like, 165 horsepower when they obviously it's going to be a bit different so it's got plenty of poke for a daily the torque is what's important it tows 1800 kilos so it actually tows more than the RAV4 that we've had on the channel before which looking at the two you'd think that tows more but this has proper all-wheel drive and that doesn't that cheats it's front wheel drive most of the time so that's the glory of the Subaru is I can't wait I really want it to snow soon now that I've got a Subaru I can just I can be part of them I can be one of them Liam you can be one of those I can be one of them I can I can finally be a Subaru owner it'd be brilliant I just, oh. that's what I've been dreaming for forever. And also I've got a Subaru before Liam because Liam's always wanted a Pretzer and I now have a Subaru before him. Grind, it's not the one he wants, so he probably isn't jealous, but I'm carrying it as a win. So one of the criteria for buying a car such as this, or buying a daily at least, is that I wanted to get something that was interesting, um, which I think I've done here because, you know, driving a car every day, you don't want to just be 
bored out of your mind. You want it to be something that you like, so. You know, you just want it to be something that you like. So you'd be happy to take to a car meet, which is something that I, I, you know, I'd love to do because I don't feel ashamed of this at all. I love it. It's brilliant because, you know, with the RAV4, I really enjoyed the car. It's still around, you know, you might see it again in a couple of times, but I can, I didn't feel like I could take it to a car meet because I, I really liked it, but it was a RAV4. It was just a normal car. It only had character because it was a bit banged up. The paint was rubbish on it. Um, and that was it really. It, it's perfect for the job. You know, it moves my engine around still. I've used it. The engine we've got for the MR2, that's safe and sound now. But, you know, we can, we can be proud of this. We can take it to a car meet. I can show it off because I've got my coilovers. I've done no work. I've done nothing to earn this vehicle. I've just bought it. <laughs> I can take pride in the build, which I've not built. Um, but, you know, that's it. That's good. So everybody, that has been it. Thank you very much for joining me on another car adventure that we've got. Welcome to the channel. It's not Project Super or anything like that. This is just Shinji. He's chilling. He's a daily. He'll appear every so often. We've got bits and bobs to do to him. As I said, we've got brakes and servicing to have a go at. Wheels. So we might go down to our friends at DGT again for that and get it aligned as well with the coilovers. Maybe a fast road setup. Oh, which is horrible for a daily, but I might do it anyway because I'd like to be a bit stupid. Um, and yeah, thank you very much for joining us. Um, as always, please, um, if you could follow us on our socials, we're at the Backrows TBR on everything, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, etc. here, you're watching us here already. And um, please, if you fancy getting more insights into what we're up to, um, why don't you check out the podcast? And even further insights, you can join our Discord, and also you could become a channel member for the price of a cup of coffee a month, and it really helps us to um, do more stupid and have fun and create more content. It all goes right straight back into it. And stickers. This will be getting TBR sticker. It's part of the fleet. Go to the backrows.co.uk slash shop. You can get yourself a Backrose logo sticker. Um, thank you very much for joining us once again and have a good day. <coughs> I'm keeping that in by the way. That's fine. <laughs>